Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a random love reading for Gemini. Your next love interest. And what you need to know. Your next love interest, Gemini, and what it is you need to know. Wow, a lot of cards want to come out here. So we have the Four of Wands. Oh, this is someone looking for the one. <laughs> this is someone very creative, very passionate about family, marriage, a strong financial foundation. There's a reason to celebrate. You could meet this person, you know, at someone's house through a friend of a friend, any any energy to do with a home. But this is someone here. It's about the one. Yeah, we have someone here weighing the pros and the cons. Should I or shouldn't I? <laughs> Yeah, it's an inner struggle. It's a person calming down to make a decision. So somebody here may, you may have met this person at somebody's home or they could be somewhere around you. Yeah, four of pentacles. This is someone here a little bit stuck. They're definitely focused on money. I do feel they're creative, very passionate about their beliefs, but it's someone here trying to make a decision whether they want to start this. Very, There's definitely an attraction. And they are calming down to make a decision, weighing the pros and the cons. So they're not so someone who's possibly watching from a distance, keeping a distance. But this is also someone who's trying to stay balanced. See, it's all about balance here. Yeah. So four of swords. This is someone clearing things up, clearing things out. They're a little pinned down by their thoughts. Should I or shouldn't I? Yeah, and it could even be yourself in this energy, but this is about the person, your next love interest. I feel they're attractive, maybe even tall, okay, very passionate about their house, their home, their financial foundation. But I do feel this person, someone here, that inner struggle, you know, about making that move, this passionate new beginning. They're pinned down by their thoughts. So I do feel this is someone who's releasing Things that they no longer need here. It's just someone who's been a little bit on a break too. Yeah. C5 of Wands. It's about taking action. Yeah. It's the energy of having a good time here. But this is definitely someone here kind of lying there at night, you know, pinned down by their thoughts, you know, letting go. It's about releasing things that no longer serve and getting out of their head. See, this is someone who's been in their head. Should I or shouldn't I start this? You know, this is someone who I feel, you know, kind of searching for the one, but it's about taking action. Uh, there's obstacles and challenges. They're probably someone looking to see if there's competition too. This definitely looks like someone who doesn't want a lot of dra drama. Yeah. So there's definitely indecision. This person coming in, they're very indecisive. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy possibly. Also some fire and earth here. This is someone here who they will decide when they're ready. So this is someone who goes back and forth in their head to make a decision. So this is probably somebody who wants to know if there's competition. I feel like this is someone who doesn't really want to compete. It's like they want to get you alone. They want to talk. They, you know, this is someone who's definitely creative. You know, I feel they have some very creative energy. Yeah, I see some Libra. So this is someone about to make a decision. They're going to make the best decision they can make. But this is also someone who's gone through a healing. They're releasing, shedding. See, getting out of their head. So they're about to make a decision. Back and forth in their head. Should I or shouldn't I? They are trying to stay grounded. But I feel it's someone that's just kind of keeping their distance. They're not quite ready to move yet. Yeah, they're not quite ready to move, to budge here. <laughs> Yeah, they're definitely in protective mode. Yeah, see, it's about making, giving this cup. This is what this person, see, it's about an opportunity. You know, it's offering up this cup. This is someone who's definitely gone through a healing. They're about to make a decision. They they're, they want to ask you out. And definitely they're, you know, at first and foremost, they're attracted. Yeah, but it's about taking action, going after what they want. So if there is competition, they're definitely looking. It has to do with the decision they make to do with this cup. Yeah, a fresh new start. This is someone who's definitely ready for a fresh new start, a new beginning. Yeah, this is definitely someone who's been in their head, you know, back and forth. Should I or shouldn't I? Yeah, let's have a look at the four of wands. Yeah, so there's definitely been some heartache. Definitely been some heartache here. But it has to do with love. 
Yeah, it could be somebody who, like I say, back and forth, but I don't see two people. I see one, but I do feel it has to do with competition. This is definitely someone who's gone through a healing. Yeah, see friends and family. This is someone around you. So there could be people around you. I, I feel this person's a little concerned about competition. They definitely don't want drama. This person definitely doesn't want to get caught up in drama. They've likely actually just healed from something like that. Yeah, see three people. There could be people around you. They're just looking. Like I say, they're pinned down by their thoughts. Let's have a look at the two of pentacles for Gemini. Yeah, you got a king of pentacles. See, back and forth, should I or shouldn't I? This person's definitely someone who's been focused a lot on their money. They're planning and preparing ahead. They kind of look ahead. Yeah, they're definitely in protective mode. Yeah. But I feel this is someone looking to see if there's competition. Yeah, they're looking. This is, you know, I, it's an energy of someone who wants to get someone alone. They won't ask you out in front of people. They want to, they're waiting to get you alone. If you have people around you too, when you're out and about, you know, move off on your own a little bit here. Because I do think this is someone who's definitely been kind of procrastinating here. They do not want drama. No, see, they're keeping things to themselves, very private. They're trusting their intuition, their inner knowing. So they're very wise. You might know who this is. They're in your social circle. But I do see the energy of three. See, a house, a home. I don't know if there's a party, a celebration. But this is someone who's definitely healed from some kind of heartache. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. It's an energy of someone looking for love, you know. But I do see this passion. This is someone who's got people around them all the time. Uh, friends, family. Yeah, so I feel they're just keeping things to themselves. See, watching from a distance, holding back. They're not quite ready to move. They're also very protective and protective of their heart. They keep things close to their chest. Very private. So they definitely don't want other people involved. They aren't into gossip, drama. Yeah. So they are doing some thinking here. It could be a little, yeah, see, it's cooperation, compromise, compatibility. It's about going down this path, the things you have in common. So there could be, this person could be a little worried here. Maybe they've dated someone that you know. It's very possible, but they are looking for someone compatible. They're, you know, it's an energy of three. So there are other people. This is somebody here who did, really doesn't want to compete. They don't want drama. That's what I feel. So I do feel keep holding back, not ready to budge, not ready to move. Very private. Yeah. Into me, I see. See, they're going within. They're kind of in their head. They want someone compatible. They want to go down this path, but they're acknowledging. It's about acknowledging. Now, it could be someone who's a little aloof. Often that it's an energy of a person who's a little aloof. Kind of act like they're not interested when they are. <laughs> Just till they're sure. <laughs> Let's have a look at the five of wands. Yeah, it has to do with taking action. They have to be the one to take the lead here, I feel, too. Yeah, I do feel that energy. Yeah, it's an energy of change going down this path. This is someone who's definitely gone through change. I see uh, this is someone who's been focused a lot on their finances. I see a lot of growth, change for the better. This could be someone around you, like in your social circle. If you get invited to something, this person could be around. But I don't think this person will let you know uh, they're interested right off the get-go. You might feel it, and you might even know who they are. And it is possible this is someone who's going to keep something to themselves. They could be very protective, though. This is often a person who, you know, like I say, they keep things close to their chest. I really feel it's more like them keeping everything to themselves till they, you know, they're looking for obstacles, challenges, um, competition. They do not want drama. If there's any kind of drama competition, this person will just move on. So I do feel they're trying to decide. Yeah, they have some Libra, I feel, in their chart, uh, possibly. But it's an energy of coming in right, doing the right thing. Is this the one? See, or, you know, or... Is somebody around you, you know, the competition? Because I feel they don't know. They can't see. But it's also an energy of someone taking off the rose-colored glasses, the blindfold to see. Yeah, coming in right. See, it's an energy of being fair, being balanced, whether someone's just right or not. They know they need to come in right. Yeah. It's a judgment. Yeah, see, 
judgment, healing. They're about to make a decision. Now, this could be someone who maybe judged you wrong. It's possible. They could be, you know, taking another look here. But to me, it just looks like someone who's been indecisive whether they should make this move, whether they should take action or they should just move on. Yeah, they need to know. It has to do with cooperation, compromise, compatibility, the things you have in common. So I do feel friends and family. And it's possible this is someone who dated someone in your social circle. Yeah. See, they want to come in right. So I do feel this is someone overcoming obstacles and challenges, clearing things up, clearing things out. Yeah, they're clearing things out before they go down this path. They definitely don't want drama. There it is, the birth of something new. Gemini, Gemini. Yeah, very strong Libra. And some Pisces energy too, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it could be just their energy. They really could be anyone. And I, I feel with this energy too, uh, this is someone who will make a decision. They will be the one to decide when they're ready. They trust the, in their ability to make the right choice. So... Yeah. Now, this could be a reconciliation. It is possible there's been some heartache. Somebody here may have been protecting themselves, their money. Maybe there was gossip, something they kept to themselves. But I do feel it's some sort of judgment. So maybe someone wasn't fair here. But I do see this energy of the birth of something new. See, it's an energy of an opportunity. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to offer you this cup. Could be someone who wants to make things right. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who focuses a lot on work, maybe even doing some inner work. They're a bit of a perfectionist, perfecting their skills. This could be a workplace situation. Could be somebody who worked on your home at some point too, you know. But yeah, I feel they, they focus a lot on their work. They're doing that inner work too, I feel. Yeah. Tell me about the high priestess. What is this stuck energy? This someone who holds back, keeps things close to their chest. Yeah, someone putting on the brakes, you know, kind of looking at a situation here. Yeah, they definitely want to be successful. They're determined something is successful. So, yeah, it could be just somebody looking to see the things you have in common too. Often that's all it is, just someone who's looking. They kind of check things out, but they're definitely someone. I see Cancer Pisces energy. Now, this is someone who often puts on the brakes. They're trying not to get them. See, they don't want drama. This is someone who doesn't want to get involved in a bunch of drama. And if there is drama competition, they will put on the brakes. So this looks like that's maybe something that happened. You might even be unaware of it, but you might know. Yeah, see, this is an energy of partnering up. So this is some kind of place. This is someone, you know, holding back, watching from a distance, keeping their distance. I feel this is someone clearing things up, clearing things out. They've definitely been on some kind of a break. They've been focusing a lot on work, you know, their financial stability, but it is someone who wants a partner. They want someone stable, reliable, someone they can count on. So I do feel this is someone who, you know, they're very self-reliant. Yeah, it's like they're trying to build something, maybe a business. But it's about partnering up. It's financial stability, security, see, feeling safe. This could be somebody who's maybe there's conflict, things going on. This person could be just holding back, watching from a distance till it's safe. They may be even trying to keep you safe from drama. Yeah, they're releasing things that no longer serve. See, this is this person's hopes and dreams. They're releasing uh, people clearing things up, clearing things out before they go down this path. There's been obstacles and challenges, but it has to do with this person taking action. I do see change. This is someone who's moved on. This is someone who's moved on from a lot of drama, the competition. So to me, it looks like a person who's ready uh, to make some kind of a commitment about this path here. Tell me about justice. See, this is someone here making up in their mind, should I or shouldn't I? You know, they're definitely, there's an inner struggle. This is all inner energy, things going on in their head too. But I do see that social circle. Yeah, this is someone who sees, you know, that worth and value, their hopes and dreams, everything they could want. But they are letting go. A lot of baggage. It could be someone who's just like I say, there's just a lot of people competing for their attention. They may be very popular. 
Maybe they see you that way, very popular, that you get a lot of attention. Yeah, maybe very well known. Oh, some Aquarius Libra energy here. Yeah, it has to do with a house, a home, a family commitment. See, this is someone here who is indecisive. So this is someone who needs, they know they need to make a decision, but I feel this is someone just kind of holding back, keeping things to themselves. It's a healing energy. It's a releasing. I feel they're clearing things up, clearing people out of their life. Uh, they're ready to move on here. And I do see change for the better. Yeah, and I do see financial very much working. See, I see financial change abundance. So someone who's definitely been, you know, they're around you. You might know who they are, but I, I feel like this is a person here who, you know, has to do with making the right decision, coming in right, whether someone's right for them or not too, or if this is the right choice. Because I do feel this is someone who's definitely shedding, clearing up, clearing people out of their life and ready to make a choice. So this is a big decision. Yeah, they're going to reach out. See, reaching out, being more generous. They're not sure you'll reciprocate. You might know who it is. Uh, I do feel, like I say, heartache, maybe even a third party. But it has to do with choosing the one. Maybe someone was juggling. Maybe they were kind of struggling, trying to make up their mind, pinned down by their thoughts. You know, that... Um, uh, things you have in common. I do feel there's someone here. They may have just dated someone else and they're keeping it to themselves. Yeah, they're going to reach out to see if you reciprocate. Yeah, they've been checking things out, taking a pause, putting the shoe on the other foot, how the other person feels. This is why I almost feel like they're protective. They're protecting you from drama, the competition, the conflict, chaos. Now, it could have something to do with work. Maybe they work with someone that you know, vice versa. You know, gossip and talk, but it has to do with something they're very passionate about. It has to do with marriage commitment, their financial foundation. This is someone who's definitely worked hard to get where they're at. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Yeah, see, it's about choosing the one. This is someone... I say, you know, it's ready to choose the one. They're very passionate. They find you very attractive, more than likely vice versa. Yeah. This is someone making a choice. It's about their path. They've been focusing on money. Yeah. But they're definitely someone who's been holding back and not budging. And I definitely, it could even be yourself holding back, not budging here. Because it has to do with them coming in to fight, to take action. But I feel this is someone overcoming obstacles. Tempering their passions, tempering their emotions, just being patient. Yeah. See, this is someone back and forth. They're definitely getting out of their head. See, it's an energy of getting out of their head. Clearing things up, being patient. Yeah. It's, just, it's an energy where they've got people around them, but they're not interested. There's nobody here their type. They're looking to see if you're their type. Because there's that pause checking you out before they make a decision. This is definitely an interesting... I don't know if you go to their place of business or they go to yours. Or there's just a place where you go and socialize. But yeah, they're very tempted to reach out. Very tempted. But I do feel this is someone, you know, ready to try something different. There's something different about you. You're not chasing. See, that's that energy. Oh yeah, this is someone who's definitely in their feelings here. They've been keeping it to themselves. Strong Pisces. Very nurturing. This person's quite nurturing. They can be quite protective. So I feel they're protecting you from chaos and drama. Yeah, they're just, like I say, they're being a little cautious here. They're just being patiently, patiently waiting. Yeah. Let's have a look at that Three of Pentacles. Yeah, like I see that... that third party energy or just you know the fear of pinned down by their thoughts they definitely don't like drama this is a this person's a lover not a fighter okay <laughs> but i see them making a head and heart decision here yeah they want to offer up this cup see they aren't i actually feel there could be competition i do see they see you as very popular they may feel like you're out of their league or the situations out of really out of uh, you know, that you're out of their league or the situation's out of reach. But I actually feel they're releasing that. See, it's just the thoughts pinning them down. I do see a little pause, a little break. 
I do think this is someone clearing people out of their life. Maybe other people they've dated too. I think they're protecting you from the drama. Because this person's definitely a lover, not a fighter. And they can be very generous. Yeah. Very interesting. I think you're open to this. If you already know who it is, I feel like you're going to be open to this Gemini Feminines. Okay. Yeah. See, this is definitely somebody's pride. They like to be a good provider. But it's also someone here who's been dating lots of people, kind of playing the field, you know. But I do feel this is someone looking for love. They want this opportunity. They want to offer you this cup. Now, you could actually, I'm going to be honest, there could be two people who compete for each other and compete for your attention. It may have nothing to do with you. Yeah. Because it's an energy of, you know, I don't know if this is, there's gossip talk, someone that this person works with. But they've definitely someone who've done that inner work. They've taken that pause. They've gone within. See, they it's putting the shoe on the other foot, how the other person would feel. So this is why I feel like they're just clearing things up, clearing things out, because they care how you will feel. That's what I feel, because I do see competition. But yeah, there's the energy of their pride. See, they're breaking free from a, a situation. Definitely someone who's dated people. They got people chasing them. There's a lot of competition. So I do feel they're clearing things up. And I do see change from for the better. They definitely take a lot of pride. They're acknowledging. Okay. Yeah. They want this to be successful. You can see the energy. They know. They need to clear things up, clear things out if this is going to be successful. They're coming in. They're definitely up for the adventure. But this is someone who's been on that journey, the journey of love. See, I, I think they're protecting you. This is someone, you know, if you feel like this is someone being aloof or they kind of look at you and look away, then they're protecting you from chaos and drama here. They do not want drama. Yeah, they are successful. They definitely are very successful and emperor. This is definitely someone who's got a lot of people chasing them and they're not interested in them. So they're very protective and I feel they're trying to protect you from getting involved in this. So if you've been waiting patiently for someone, yeah, this is likely what's happening. Yeah, they're very confident. I do feel this is someone who's confident, very capable. They're very kind and compassionate too. So very nice, but they have a lot of inner strength. Oh, yeah. They definitely, you know, it's an energy of finding the one. So this is definitely someone here, something that they can't see. And you may not see this coming. In fact, Gemini, this could be yourself. Maybe you're indecisive about this person. Because I, I kind of feel like you're aware, like you already know. <laughs> if you are very intuitive, very strong, you're, you know, it's telling you to pay attention to the signs, the signals. But I do feel this person's acknowledging something. They're definitely acknowledging something here. Now, they have a bit of an ego. I do feel it's an energy of clearing that out too. Yeah, but it's an energy of confidence. I actually feel they have a healthy ego. I do feel it's someone who likes to be a good provider. They like to be generous. So definitely protective. Yeah, they're, they want to build the foundation. See, it's an energy of someone coming in right, building the foundation. I don't think you're going to see it coming, more than likely. Because I don't feel, I mean, if they are indecisive and they're just holding back, it has, if you feel that energy, okay, and it's making you unsure about this person, it's about putting the shoe on the other foot, how they'd feel, because it takes two people. It takes two people to build here. So it has to do with this person putting in the effort. They want to build. They want to build a foundation. They want to come in right. So if you feel like this is someone who's been kind of checking you out, and you're kind of waiting and you're open to this offer and opportunity. They just want to come in right. They don't want to bring in, I feel they don't want to bring in, you know, this energy of drama. This is somebody who definitely is going to stand their ground with some people. They're breaking free. Yeah, they got people chasing them. Yeah, and you're not chasing. See, you're different. That's the, You're different than the usual type. You're not chasing after them. See, this is what this person's going to see. So just stay right where you are, Gemini. Okay. I feel they have heavy Libra, Aquarius, um, Sag, Leo energy, possibly Aries. There's a lot of fire, a lot of passion. This person's very passionate, very creative. So they have a couple different sides to them, but they are very, 
caring, very nurturing person. Yeah, there's that truth, see? Taking a little pause, seeing the truth. This is somebody looking for the truth, too. They could be just looking to see if there's competition. This is also someone who doesn't compete. You see, but they what they're looking at is that you're not chasing them. Yeah, this person, I, like I feel their hopes and dreams, everything you could ever want. I do feel they're popular. They're quite well known. Yeah, definitely an emperor, very stable financially too. They definitely work a lot. That's, I feel, one of their goals. They're very goal-oriented. Let's have a look at the empress energy and see where this goes. This is the start of something new. It's an opportunity, okay? Definitely an opportunity here. And I do feel the truth, seeing the truth, success, victory, win or lose. At some point, this person, I feel they're kind of, like I say, you know, being patient, holding back. But I think this person's trying to protect you from this chaos and drama. They need to come in right. They need to clear this out. Yeah, see, very protective. Very, and you're also in protective mode too, more than likely, but it's an energy of being kind of stuck. See, it's an energy of balance. See, it's an energy of this person coming unstuck. They're clearing things up. Clearing things out. It could be their house and home too. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's the pentacle. This is an energy of cooperation, compromise, compatibility. That's what they're looking for, see? Yeah. Very interesting. Let's have a look at the truth. This is also someone coming up with an idea. Yeah, see, they want to talk. They want to talk to you. Definitely alone. This isn't somebody who, out of respect, this person will never approach you or ask you out in front of people, especially if there could be competition, because it looks like they can't see, they don't know. But I don't think you're going to see this coming. I do think this is someone about to make that decision. They have definitely shed, released, you know, and I, I do feel your decision. So out of respect, they, it's like they're putting the shoe on the other foot, that it's your decision too. So yeah, I feel like you're going to see eye to eye, but I do see a conversation. Some of you could have a couple people around you competing, and I do see the energy of two people competing for your attention. So some of you, if you do, there's two people. Well, one thing about this emperor, they definitely have ego. <laughs> they definitely very confident. Oh, yeah. I think you're going to, some of you have to choose. You may be making a choice, but it's about, I feel, avoiding heartache. Because I see a reason to celebrate love. And definitely that third energy is here. So... Tell me about that three of wands. This is someone who wants love. They're a lover, not a fighter. So yeah, see, it's an energy of someone reminiscing, longing for love. This is someone longing for love. It's, this is someone who's waiting painfully. <laughs> yeah, this definitely starts as a crush, but they definitely keep it to themselves. Wow, yeah, they want to ask you out. Somebody here, they want to ask you out. But it's a person who just kind of goes with the flow. You can see how this person kind of levels up here. Yeah, they really are in their feelings. And I do feel they're trying to protect you, Gemini. Yeah, you might not see this coming, the moon. So it's very romantic. This is someone who would like to get you alone. They can be very romantic, very sensuous, um, beautiful energy. Yeah, they're planning something. They want to try to impress you, but I actually feel they're kind of impressed with you as well. Why? Because you're not budging. <laughs> the Empress doesn't budge and give in. So, yeah. But it's also, like I say, there comes off that pentacle, teamwork, cooperation, compromise. So it's an energy of compromise. I don't think you're going to see it coming. I really don't. I, I feel, like I say, you're in that energy of, yeah, see options, opportunities. This is someone who knows a good thing when they see it, but it's energy of looking for competition. This is someone who definitely sees competition. This is a Mars energy. Like this person's coming in to fight for what they want here. And I do feel there's someone who isn't really a fighter. They try to avoid drama. They're absolutely in that energy. But if you have two people competing, you are the one who's going to have to decide. Maybe you're feeling a bit confused. But I'm seeing romantic, fantasizing and romanticizing here. 
Someone here, very romantic. I think they're planning something. They're planning for success, preparing for it. I do think this is someone here who is coming in to take action here. It's definitely not something this person generally does, but okay, there you go. They're feeling pretty confident. They're making a decision. I feel this is, like I say, I don't think you're going to see this coming. Yeah, see, it has to do with uh, someone having faith. It has to do with two people being on the same page. Now, it is possible this is someone who has dated someone in your social circle only after a period of time they find out this person's not their type. They may actually be crushing on you. It's a person who's looking for truth. So I do feel seeing the truth. This they I do feel that, that for some of you they have there's been heartache. Uh, that third party. There's just someone making a choice, choosing the one, maybe comparing they could be they could be comparing you to someone else too. Let's have a look at this. To really be thorough in this reading and make sure I bring out all the energy. Because this is the person. They're coming in to offer you the cup. I think you're open to this. Oh, yeah. They're very charming, very creative, very passionate. So very sexy. Yeah, you know, This is someone who could be quite charming. They're, de they're definitely working on that. But I also feel they're very creative. This is someone who generally wants something. No, they've been working. They definitely are coming in. This is someone who's ready because they're, they're leveling up. This is somebody who now has that fighter spirit, the warrior. It has to do with them just taking action here, overcoming the competition. They feel pretty confident, but they are taming the beast within themselves. So I do see releasing a little ego. See, their pride. This is somebody's pride getting in the way too. You know, the ego, but they don't like drama. I can see it. I do feel they're trying to protect you by holding back. So because there's been obstacles, challenges, conflict, drama, gossip, talk, who knows what this is all about. But yeah, you know, see, ending a cycle, they want things to go in their favor. This person's pretty determined. So yeah, I mean, if you have two people competing, it looks like you, in a yourself, you may be Gemini indecisive keeping your options open but it's an energy of looking at the possibilities fantasizing and romanticizing this energy of two people being on the same page wanting the same thing i think this person is trying to come up with an idea to impress you maybe you're already impressed but yeah look at that see taking a leap of faith this is somebody here definitely taking that leap of faith they're leaving something behind and going down this path. So, like I say, if you have people around you, you have a lot of options. This person someone who's out of self-respect, too. And respect, they will not approach you until they see the truth. But they are coming up with an idea. And I've been seeing this in a lot of readings. So, yeah, they're, it's an energy of sh showing you that they're confident, too. They are. I mean, it could be someone overly confident at some point. So I do see that energy of releasing some of that. The pride getting in the way. Yeah. But it's an energy of acknowledging. They're acknowledging something here. They also want someone who's successful. They, it's an energy of someone who'd be very proud uh, to bring you into their world, to introduce you to their friends. But like I say, obstacles, challenges, drama. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords and we'll wrap this up. They're ready. They're, they're, it's, it, they're coming in with that Mars energy, that warrior spirit. See, this is someone who's been thinking things through, clearing things up. They feel confident. This is someone who feels confident about a decision. It's almost like nobody compares to you because they're comparing. So I don't know if they're dating. It starts out where they're dating somebody, um, but yet they have a crush on you or vice versa because that's what it really looks like. Yeah, because this person has faith in taking this leap of faith. See, this lifestyle habits are very strict. They have a lot of self-discipline. So, yeah, they are definitely, you know. But that, that lover energy, I, I see them holding back, feeling very protective. Often it's a person, you know, like dating out on a date with one person but crushing on another person. 
Mm -hmm. It happens. It's sometimes because they feel something's off with the other person. They may be just not right for them. So, but this decision is yourself here. I feel this person's taking a leap of faith, pushing through that, you know, fear of conflict, drama, and they're making a decision. They want to talk. They want to connect. But there's no one like you. That's what I feel. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see this coming. They're very this is an energy where someone becomes very spontaneous. They definitely are someone who generally looks before they leap, but like I say, they're just living in the moment here. I don't think you're going to see it coming. It's funny. Both of you, I'll tell you what you both have in common. You both can be indecisive. You both don't see this coming. Or you're both just acting maybe even a little bit aloof. Because often the Empress will act aloof like they're not interested. So whatever, and I do see a little jealousy, make sure don't try to make someone feel jealous because I do see that energy. If there are two masculine energies uh, interested in you and they are competing, someone here, you know, their pride ego getting in the way. So like I say, this is your choice. If you have a choice and you are comparing and you are making a decision because it definitely looks like it could be, but... Very strong Aquarius and Libra energy here, as well as all the fire signs. And Earth, too, that Earth energy, that grounded. Someone planning, preparing ahead. They're preparing for success. They're coming up with some kind of idea, something unique. They also, I feel they like to have deep conversations, too. But it's an energy of two people sharing their innermost selves. Yeah. But just be careful of anyone here who keeps a secret. And if there is a secret, it has to do with feelings so i don't think you're going to see this coming and if you feel indecisive there's nothing wrong with putting on the brakes and, and you know looking at this situation from a different perspective but it has to do with someone coming in it has to do with the two people talking reciprocating see this is some sort of idea deep conversation this has to do with truth win or lose they need to just come in and tell you how they feel Especially if they're finding out through gossip somebody else is about to make a move and there's competition. So, yeah, definitely some challenges. This person will overcome them. They're very confident they can overcome this. So, yeah, wow. All right, take care. Wish you the best, and we will see you soon.